Hi. If you're watching this video, if you just clicked on this video, it's a sign. It's a definite sign from the one. You definitely got to go and move into either a countryside or a mountain. I'm currently in the mountains. I got my home here and I got another one, also my home, in this huge, beautiful valley called Dreznica in my, in my country, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. This decision that I made back in 2019 was the best decision of my life, period. Let me tell you that. Also, I know it's a bit weird to have someone who lives literally in the nature have this much energy. Because usually when you watch YouTube vlogs that are about living in the countryside, living in a cottage, you know, cottage core, stuff like that, those people are usually pretty calm, have a calm voice. I, 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 I literally hope there's not a bear around. I hope there's not a bear around. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a mountain uh, hotel right here. So you can hear cars passing by too. But at the same time, I hear footsteps, so I'm like... Mm. I gotta tell you that everything became clear to me right after I left the city. Everything was so clear, I couldn't believe it. Because my biggest problem was derealization. I was completely derealized. Not depersonalized, just derealized. <sighs> there was like fog. It was just foggy. My whole life was just foggy. That's the only word I can use to describe exactly how I felt. I couldn't clear it up. While living in a city, there's no way. And by the way, I live in a small town. It's not even a city, it's a town. And it's called Mostar. And it's way smaller than the typical American cities you see. I don't know, typical European cities that you see. Way smaller. It's considered a town more than a city, right? It was so hard for me. It was actually impossible for me to get any better emotionally, mentally, physically, psychologically. It was, it was, impossible to get better to feel better to heal to whatever whatever you call it and I literally just packed my bags back in 2019 it was December and I came here the snow was it's been four years now December 2023 marks four years <sighs> what a beautiful number and I'm a completely different person and let me tell you, I healed 60 to 70% in, during these four years. Imagine how zero I would heal if I just stayed in a city. Like you have to change your environment. Don't expect yourself to have a different life. Redoing stuff that you've all, all already been doing for years. Don't expect any changes at all. And people think, oh, I can definitely live a slow life in a city. I can help myself. No, no, you can't. No, you can't. Especially if you're introverted. <laughs> There's no way. We were born to experience this every day. We were not born to experience concrete every single day. And for those of us who feel it, we got to move. We got to move. Like, it's not even my opinion. It's, it's like a must. You got to move. Because you're more empathetic. You're more emotional. You, you have more emotional receivers all over your body than other people do who manage to survive in cities. Like, we don't get to manage. Like, it's not smart for us to stay in the city. So this video is supposed to tell you that. Like, bring that decision. Finally, bring it. Do it. Leave. Because you got nothing to lose. You're already losing by living in the city. I'm telling you, you're losing your energy. The fly is telling you the same stuff. Did you hear that? You heard that. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it. So we're already losing a lot by, you know, just. I remember I was, I was dead broke while living in Mostar. I was dead broke, my dude. And the moment I left, ideas just started popping in. Like I, I started getting ideas, more ideas, more ideas. At first, I was too tired to do anything about them. But then, you don't even have to work on regaining your energy. It just regains itself. It gets back. 
simple as that it just does when you are where you belong your energy just (sighs) comes to life all by itself and then what you do with it you create with it and there's no way you can create shit when you don't have it the energy right bro i'm i wish i could push you out of your apartment right now i wish i could just like you see it agrees with me huh I wish I could just push you out of your apartment right now, literally pull you by your ears and be like, you come. To... But I can't. You have to bring that decision on your own. There's nothing to lose. Don't, don't think about your job, dude. Like you're going to create another one. I'm, I'm, I promise. And of course, take some time. Like, you know, after you move into the countryside or to a mountain nearby, whatever. It takes some time for you to accept that you're there, to accept that you are at peace. Because, bro, my biggest problem back then was me trying to accept that I'm finally at peace. I couldn't believe that my brain had to get used to the new habit of being at peace. Bro, what? I'm peaceful. Why the fuck am I peaceful? Can I do something? Can I just go back to the city and just be miserable again? That, that was That's exactly what my brain was thinking. And then (laughs) you just get slowly used to happiness. And that feeling makes you create stuff. And when you create stuff, you make money. You make good energy. You just thrive. I'm thriving right now. And I'm telling you, I'm an only 70% of being healed. 60 to 70. I cannot wait for that 100, bro. But I'm patient. I'm patient. I got patience. Anyway, this is it. Go, move, get the fuck out of that house. Thanks.